Greetings, Earth sign. Coming on to find your under the rose message, okay? Your under the rose message with my Lenormand deck. I'm focusing on Earth signs, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Now, um, as I was... <sighs> And this is always personal because I'm a Taurus, so it's it's very easy for me to tap the energy of Earth signs. I am an Earth sun, Earth moon, and so many other Earth placements. So the tapping in and the connecting to the Earth signs is almost instantaneous. So I feel, as soon as I tapped in, I felt a sense of heaviness, a sense of sadness, and a sense of pressure like somebody wants or somebody's or the energy of the earth elements have all experienced or endured something heavy. So we are, we're wanting something to be over. Okay, we're wanting something to be over. But even though I tapped that energy, I also tapped the fact that we have some type of force surrounding us. Okay, some type of I don't necessarily want to use the word magical because I know some people don't necessarily even believe in that word, let alone the act of it itself. So um, because I want this message to resonate with everybody, um, I, I don't want to use the word magical. So what I will say is there's some type of miraculous okay, force surrounding us right now. There's a there's a very purified energy that it's in it's it's invisible but you can feel it and if you resonate with this message then you know exactly what it is that i'm talking about there's something that you can just feel um and you can feel it like every time maybe you try to uh maybe the frequencies try to bring you down you feel something touch you and it brings you back up okay again if you resonate with this, you know exactly what I am speaking of, okay? You are accelerating, Earth signs, okay? We're moving toward a portal of abundance, and that abundance is going to look different for everybody, okay? It, it, it's, it's really going to be contingent upon what you have been vibrationally, vibrationally calling to you. For some, it's healing. For some, it's love. For some, it's support. For some, it's money. For some, it's just being able to get up and have a good day so you know you know just place the energy where it goes but whatever you have been vibrating through your heart space because sometimes i feel like there may have been a collective of the earth sign that haven't been able to say anything okay you haven't been able to muster up the words to even pray that's how heavy Whatever it is you are experiencing is. You haven't been able to pray for yourself, okay? So it doesn't matter because the language of the universe is um, vibrational anyway. So whatever you have been vibrationally asking for, okay? For those of you whose throat chakra just has has not been useful right through this, you know, this, this phase of your life, it doesn't matter. You have still been heard and little did you know, or maybe you did know, again, there is a miraculous force that is walking with you, hearing, seeing, doing, and being your strength right now. Like I just heard the wind beneath your wings. Somebody hasn't been able to flap their wings. Somebody hasn't been able to muster up the energy to lift themselves up. But that miraculous force that is surrounding you is holding you up. It is your life force energy. Okay, it is your saving grace. So you have not and are not and will not ever be alone. Okay, Earth signs. Now, you are also facing some great opportunities. And I'm hearing, Ashay, I'm hearing, don't let that pressure make you too heavy to rise to the opportunity. Now, that's deep. Don't don't let the pressure of whatever you're going through make you too heavy that you can't accept the new opportunities that are coming to you. I say, and I'll I'll accept that energy myself. I loved that. Okay, thank you, Spirit. So let's go ahead and pull from the Lenormand. 
I'm only going to pull two cards. Your first card will be the past and the second card will be the future. I'm not going to pull a, a, a present card because you're already living in your presentness. You already know what's going on in your present. So I'm going to pull two cards. It's going to represent from whence you came and from uh, to where you're going. Okay. All right. I hope you're resonating with this earth sign. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Anchored. Ah, no better card to have for Earth sign. All right. <clears throat> Anchored. There's a possibility that you were moved. You were unearthed. You were pushed. You were... Um, something was taken from you almost immediately. Something that you thought you were anchored in something that you thought was um uh what's the word spirit give me the word something that you thought was grounded down in earth um i think that you were grounded in said thing but whatever you thought you were grounding in was not um grounded with you okay so you're represented by the anchor but what you were anchored in um wasn't solid like i'm hearing <sighs> muddy muddy water i don't know why that's coming up muddy waters like you were the strong tower you were the strong anchor that was trying to anchor yourself in something and this something is going to be different for everybody okay but you thought you had your hooks in something and you thought that it was strong enough you thought, oh, so it, I say, so, so, and when I listen, y'all, I'm stumbling over words because so much information is flooding to the front and, and I can't say it all or I'll sound stupid and tongue tied. So I hate when, I, well, not I hate when that happens, but when that does happen, it kind of frustrates me because I can't get the words out as quick as they are downloading into my, into my, okay. So listen, you had something, had, was somewhere, uh, 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 someone, okay? And you thought you had planted yourself in something that was solid, only to find out it wasn't solid. You were solid. You were genuine. You were, um, I just heard the word ready. Everything about you was stable. Everything about you was a strong tower. But what you were planting yourself into was not. This is what you were planting yourself into. Now, I said that I was only pulling your past and your future because you're already cycling through your present this but spirit had told me that i must pull this card because it showed what you were dealing with something was sly something was slick something had a fox energy and if you know anything about fox energy it's trickster energy hmm you were around something that had a motive you were somewhere that had a motive you were dealing with something that had a motive and the motive wasn't conducive to your well-being. Whatever this, whatever this energy is, it brought about a change. Now, I am going to have to pull a third card for you, Earth Sign, to see what your future is now that this has been exposed. Because what Spirit is telling me now is this was exposed. You now know exactly who this was, where this was, and what this was. You are no longer ob ob oblivious. You are no longer in the dark. You know exactly what this, what this slick, sly, trickster, heckler energy was. You, uh, you were, you, you were in the dark. You are no longer in the dark. All right. Okay. Cause there was some intellect used. There was some type of um. Uh, uh, I say there there was a you made an intelligent move. 
you got away from it. It's like once you realized exactly what this was, you got away from it, okay? And, but it was your intelligence. It wasn't an emotional thing that made you move. Something came to the light. Some, some, some a conversation um, came by way of someone else. Something very into something very intellectual took place. Okay, something very intellectual took place. Show me more under the rose. Oh man, something something intellectual took place. You came into a knowledge of something. Okay, thank you. Could have been someone. It could have been someone that brought you some information. Okay, it could have been someone that brought you in some information. But whatever this information, however this information came, and let me tell you something, this doesn't always necessarily mean a physical person, okay? Um, for some of you, that miraculous energy that I said is around you, um, that's supporting you, protecting you, it is a masculine force, meaning you have a masculine entity, a masculine deity, a masculine God, some type of masculine, miraculous um, force that follows you and protects you. So this could absolutely be representative of that. Okay. Oh, I say, ooh, this message. <laughs> You know, I said that you just, you made some type of, something came to you intellectually. Something came to you by way of intellect, intelligence. Some For some of you, what you thought that you just tapped into, it was that energy. It was this masculine force. Because for some of you, don't get it twisted. For some of you, you follow Jesus, okay? And that's, there's nothing wrong with that. For some of you, you follow Allah. For some of you, you follow Jehovah, okay? Yahweh, y Yeshua. Buddha, Ogun, Zeus, Poseidon, okay, Abatala. It could be any uh, deity, any force, any masculine um, god that you call upon um, as your your god, okay. They are protecting you, and they are the one that put that energy of this person is slick and sly. They let you know. They dropped it right in your cerebral pockets. They dropped it right in your mind. That's why I kept hearing the word intelligence. You just had an aha moment. You understood something. Well, all, uh, up until that moment, I think you were emotionally invested. And then you had an aha moment. Now, this doesn't uh, deduce the fact that this still could have, that information still could have come from a physical masculine person a physical man okay a good friend a father a uncle a reverend maybe you went to church one sunday and that preacher said something that made sense and it all started to come together okay however whoever whatever whenever if you're resonating with this then you know exactly who this masculine energy is but there is and was and will always be a life force energy around you that is very masculine and they don't play about you that's who showed you what was going on okay oh sorry to get so long-winded <laughs> um yeah yeah earth signs um it's almost like you um you were blown away because you had to unearth yourself from something that you thought was uh real that you thought was um concrete okay but you were not you didn't <sighs> listen i just heard something oh i didn't think this message was gonna be this long you planted your anchor in something that you thought was concrete and you kept waiting on the concrete to harden or to congeal or whatever cement does that process that cement does, but you know, you know, as it's turning into concrete. But you found out that whatever, whoever, whenever, only looked like cement. They were really silly putty. It was really silly putty. The place was silly putty. It wasn't real. It presented itself as real and 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 cement like. 
It even had the color, the look, the smell, the, the, in the beginning, it even had the consistency of cement. But it was silly putty. It was a trickster energy. Wall earth sign. If you're resonating with this, if you're resonating with this message, as bad as I don't want to say, is there an anchor? Drop an anchor. And if you know who your fox was, drop an anchor and a fox emoji. Because I believe there's a, an emoji for both of them, okay? Thank you, Spirit, for giving me the outcome and the beautiful portal of uh, abundance and opportunity for Earth sign. Hmm. Ashay, thank you. Ashay, and thank you. Yes, the sickle and moon. You cut something off, you released it. You cut something off, the sickle, and you, uh-oh, sorry, and you released it. So see, you're back in alignment. You're back full, you're back whole, and you're back in your power. You're back full, you're back whole, and you're back in your power. Listen, earth signs, pour out gratitude from your heart for the many blessings that are going to be able to come in and penetrate you now because you made it through it because you understand um, you didn't deny or because somebody didn't get emotional. Somebody stayed in their intellect. Somebody stayed in their intelligence. I think something was trying to make you become emotional, but because of this energy that, that you have following you all the days of your life you did not become emotional now that doesn't say that you didn't deal with emotions but you just didn't you didn't spiral your intellect and your logic help you remain grounded okay so if i keep talking more will come and i won't i won't make it on to the other elements i just want to send a big shout out and a big love to all of the earth signs virgo Taurus, Capricorn, may you receive this message in a mighty and in a matchless way under grace. Okay. Thank you for watching. Peace.